Now we'll see the next example. Example number 1.24. This is from NCRT, Engineering Graphics for 12th Standard, right? So, so we are solving example number 1.24. So they have said, draw an isometric projection of an equilateral triangular pyramid resting vertically and centrally with one of its base edge at the back parallel to VP on the top face of a hexagonal prism having two of its rectangular faces parallel to VP. Side of the triangle is 34 mm and height of the pyramid is 50 mm. Side of the hexagon is 30 mm and height of the prism is 60 mm. So first we need to draw a helping figure. Now if I see the maximum length, uh, ma maximum side we required is 30, 60, 34, 50. So 60 is the maximum. So we'll draw isometric scale of 0 to 50 and, and, and 0 to 10. This is natural length. This is isometric scale length, right? Now what we will do? First we will draw helping figure. First you will draw side. How much is the side? You take 30, isometric length 30. Take this, rotate. Take this, rotate. You'll get this point from here to here. You draw a circle. Right? Now you take this side, cut it on this side, this side, here, here. So this is how you will get hexagonal shape. Right? Now we need to draw triangle inside this. And we have to draw a triangle in a such a fashion that one of its side is parallel to vertical plane. Right? So what we will do? We will draw a triangle outside and then we will draw it, then we will draw a triangle inside. See, I will show you. Side of the triangle is how much? 34. So we'll take 34. Right? We'll, we will draw equilateral triangle. We'll find out the center. So this is the center point. And this is the center point for hexagon. What we will do, we will draw vertical and horizontal line. Now here also vertical and horizontal line. Now take this distance. See this, from this to this. Take this distance, you cut on it. And you draw horizontal line. Then you take this distance. How much is this? 1770. Seventeen, seventeen. Then you take this side. Then you can draw directly. So what we have done? We have done coaxial, where both the axes are coinciding. All of you got this. So now we'll start with the main figure. What we will do? First, we will draw a box. We'll draw 30, 30 degree, right? One of the side of the rectangular face is parallel to VP, right? In this hexagon. So we have to draw it hexagon like this. But how much I should mark? LBH. So first we need to convert this helping figure into LBH. This is L. This is B. Right? And height is uh, this, right? So first, first we will take L. Let's say this is A, B, C, D. So I can mark A from here. I'll take A to B. I will cut, cut it over here. A to D. Now how much is the height? Height is 60. So I will go 60 up. I will take 50 to 10, right? So this is A, B, C and D. Now how will you mark hexagon in this? We will mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So take A to 1. Take B to 2. Same thing I can do it here also. A to 1. B to 2. Then B to 3. 
Remember that. Always take vertical or horizontal distance. Take C to 4. D to 5. D to 5, D to 6. Join all these points. You get hexagon. Take this point down by 60, 60. You can draw hexagonal prism. Right? Now after this, what we will do? We have to draw triangular tetramid. So what we will do, first we will draw center point, so that is PQ. I hope everyone knows, this is P and this is Q, right? So I will take this P, I will cut it over here. Let, let's say this is point S, this distance is P, A to S, right? Then S to O or S to M, that is Q. So this is the center point, right? I will, I will, this is M. Now this M and this, this M is same, right? What, now what I have to do? I have to take this distance or this, this distance, see this. Take this distance from here to here. I can write this as MQ. So it will be easier for you, MQ. So take that MQ and draw a line. Then you take this distance Cut on it, cut on it, on both the sides. Then you take M to, let's say this distance is T, MT. Right? This is MT. So you cut T over here. Right? Yeah, T, T over here. You, so you take M to 2, uh, sorry, M to T and you cut it over here. And you join this. So we got the base. Now how much is the height? Height is 50. Again I will take 50 to 0 or 40 to 10. I will go up by height. And then I will join this. See this. All of you got this, we can draw axis. Uh, how much you should go down according to height. Then we can do dimensioning. 